Hello everyone, my name is Ivor and I come from Croatia, from the WOVO organization. I wanted to share some of my experiences when writing the projects, talk about some methods of giving added value to the project by explaining its European uh, dimension, how will this uh, contribute to the development of European values. So when you're writing the projects you can think about some like keywords like uh, European values, uh, spirit, active uh, citizenship, European citizenship, integration, for example, why did you take partner from uh, this country, you can see this country is already a long time in its uh, development in the European Union and it can impact on the partner organization from a new member or a partner organization from a partner country and this is the added European value in it or you can address problems which are specific for uh, like your skepticism or accelerating uh, one's integration and uh, it's so wide and you should think about it and I think it's added value when the evaluators read the project. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jelena uh, Guseva. I'm from Estonia from Youth Club Active Organization. And today I want to say about Youth Pass, how important it is in uh, our work, in our organization, because uh, when you are doing something, it's really uh, difficult to understand uh, what kind of knowledge, skills you get, and through the Youth Pass you will do this, and then you will really clearly I will see what kind of skills, uh, knowledge and general competence do you have. It doesn't matter if it's a really big project or just small event, always complete your pass. Hi, my name is Tomislav, I'm from Croatia and I would like to uh, share the Asana tool. Uh, it's an online platform that can help you to be more organized for, uh, in uh, daily routines. You can put your tasks, what you have to do each day, more visible to you and it's really an uh, effective uh, tool to use each day to be, in general, more organized. Check it. Hello, this is Ruben here from uh, Spain. We are in Poland and I want to speak to you, I want to tell you a little bit about intelligence, emotional intelligence and how, um, how we can manage our feelings because you know, in all our lives, in school, our families, no one teaches about uh, what we have to do about our feelings. They teach us uh, how to do sport or how to, to uh, go to the university, but nobody tells us uh, what to do about uh, frustration or what to do about love or so I think it's really important that we have we must know that it's a big uh, vocabulary to um, in our feelings there, there are more than 60 feelings that we never remember the names and what I recommend is always to write write things and try to to write yourself and to uh, have a nice dialogue start to have a dialogue inside of you it's gonna make your world more big and you're gonna understand your own self. So you may be, probably you're gonna be a little bit more balanced in your in your life. And you know, world is full of emotions, so let's do a little bit of intelligent emotion.